Prince Charles, played by Dominic West, and Princess Diana's, Elizabeth Debicki, very public divorce and his relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles, Olivia Williams, takes center stage in season 5 of The Crown. The Netflix drama gives some screen time to depict the tender side to Camilla and Charles' relationship, showing some of the romance. There is also the tampon gate call, which is dramatized in full with the couple left reeling from the recording. Did the Queen hate Camilla? However, many fans are curious to know more about how Queen Elizabeth II, Imelda Staunton, felt about Camilla, something which isn't really explored in the series. There's a brief moment in which Charles tells his mother Camilla has maintained a dignified silence throughout his acrimonious and public divorce from Diana, despite the intense media interest. Whether the sixth and final season of The Crown will look into this remains to be seen but there are clues from history which could point to answers about this. In an exclusive interview, royal author of Queen Victoria's descendants and historian Marlene Koenig said, I think deep down she knew Camilla was the right choice because Camilla is more in tune to what the royals, the horses, not being showy. She went on to say, I think that's because of how she was raised. The historian said the Queen's views on Camilla became clearer at her wedding to Charles in 2005. Kinnick, I think it became apparent at the wedding when she made the comment about they won the horse race and also watching her evolve as his wife, taking on more and more duties. She got the family order and the garter, Camilla is only the second non-consort to get the garter. The Queen never gave the royal garter to her sister Princess Margaret but did give it to Camilla and others, perhaps showing how the monarch's views had changed over time. I think that says a lot and she knew Camilla was going to be alright. There's always going to be a portion of the population who won't like her. I think she's doing a great job, she said. Kenig said the Queen made sure both Camilla and Prince William would be at the Accession Council and would both see Charles become King. Adding, I think the perception certainly by the Queen changed publicly but we don't know privately how she ever felt about her until her diaries are published. Kenig also spoke about Camilla's first marriage and stressed the Queen consort was in love with Andrew Parker Bowles and her previous relationship with Charles ended. Andrew was also reported to have cheated on Camilla while they were dating as well as having a string of girls. Reflecting on Prince Charles and Princess Diana's union, Kenig said, Charles marries Diana. She was genealogically she was the right bride, the daughter of an earl, her father was cavalry, her grandmother was a lady-in-waiting to the queen, had a position in court, the family grew up in Sandringham. He dated her sister. As I like to say, they never courted. They never went out on a date. Koenig said the couple didn't take time to get to know each other and additionally Diana's was family pushing for the union. On the mismatch, Koenig said, we were dealing with a socially immature 19-year-old. Charles is very well read, very well traveled even privately, deeply involved in the Prince of Wales trust which still continues which has still given more opportunities than any government scheme and to a wide variety of people. The marriage should never have taken place and it's setting up for disaster, she said. Kenig concluded, they had nothing in common and that does not make her a bad person that does not make him a person. Camilla is his soulmate and she understands him. The Crown Season 5 is streaming on Netflix now, 